they would have squeezed the juice from the canes by using animals and humans, you have to lose rum to age rum. Once the rum leaves the barrels, aging stops. So if you have any old rum home aging, I advise you drink it. <laughs> Alright, so my day about to go take on this Appleton rum tour. As I can hear my voice still kinda sound shaky. From my reach I jump got my voice just yes, yeah, so we we'll take on the Appleton rum tour yeah uh then I saw you now about to head that side. Uh, yeah, jump today. <laughs> Daniel! <laughs> so exit, we exit there, then we just reach. When you see Jamaica rum on the bottle, you know you're drinking one of the finest spirits in the world. Which brings us here to the oldest sugar estate and rum distillery in continuous production in all of Jamaica. In 1749, we found your voice in rum and your instrument in the land, which gave birth to Appleton Estate. From cane to copper. We source only the best from Jamaica, like our master blender, Joyce Spence. She's the first female master blender in the spirits industry and has over 30 years experience at Appleton Estate. For us here at Appleton Estate, rum is our art, our song, our joyful expression of excellence, and the perfectly tuned string that unites every one of us in Jamaica. We hope that now, whenever you take a sip of Appleton Estate rum, you will be filled with the spirit of Jamaica. Still, still, still wait. Not David and that's man. David will wait for them. Uh-oh, no. They were in the gray shirt, this man, and they were in the black shirt, David. So back in those 17th centuries, they didn't have the kind of machines. So they would have squeezed the juice from the canes by using animals and humans, because this was once a slave plantation. This method will extract approximately 65 up to 70 percent juice from the canes. While today we are doing it mechanically, we are now extracting approximately 98 percent juice. Wow. So looking at those trash David is holding, they are pretty much still together. Still have a lot more juice there, but looking at this trash that I am holding, my trash is completely different. This is now dry and shredded. This fiber is called bagas and it can be used to make board. Here we call it bagasse board. But in other places, it is called chip board, particle board, or compressed board. We are not into the board making business here. We are now doing rums and sugar. So the bagasse that we make here, 
would now burn to generate own energy. And we generate enough energy from burning the cane trash to run the entire estate. Homes are employees, school, sugar factory, rum distillery, what we need to run this building. So coming to the buildings here, I always find it crazily cold because it doesn't cost us to generate the energy that run the estate. And the ash that comes off burning the trash would go back in the fields as fertilizer. So really here nothing get wasted. You know, this donkey is eating on his trash. His trash is generating his own energy. Sometimes he eats so much he gets on a sugar high. <laughs> and you should see the speed he goes around with. Crazy speed. And sometimes he would go up and out five, depends on how much he eats. Mm. So the only way you still find here <laughs> is if we drink too much rum and then we get wasted. Ah. <laughs> Please to always remember moderation so we are not wasted. We don't want to have any waste from the good sugar cane. Good? Good. All right. Thank you, David. We're rolling. over 170 years old. That sign been there for many years. So those were blending vats for the African rum, the wood that makes it. Because in those days they didn't have stainless steel vats, so they would use oak for the blending vats. And that's all the remains from back in those days. So they are over 180 years old, because that sign been there for over 30 years now. This is the first Appleton logo. We use it now for a quick photo up. It is best to make the picture from this side, the since 1749 gonna be backwards. Pictures, pictures, yes, no? So was introduced to the Caribbean islands from Papua New Guinea. Can be grown in two ways, by the seedlings or the ratoon. This will be the seedlings. Each joint carries an eye or shoot. And these are always on the alternate sides of every joint of cane. So if it grows on the right of this joint, it's on the left of this one. Right here, left here. All sugar cane, that's where they grow. Now here we grow over 10 different kinds. We harvest them to get a crush, boil juice to make one molasses. These are some different varieties that we grow here in these containers. So you'll now get a chance to sample some of the different varieties. Can just pass out some. Now ladies and gentlemen, if this is your first cane eating experience, please do not, you will just pass out your yeah, please do not swallow on the fiber. <laughs> so you're gonna chew hard, suck on the juice, only swallow the juice of it. Swallowing the fiber, it will go down rough, but it will exit a little rougher. <laughs> <laughs> so try not to get the trash back here. So you know, if you somehow, but that was the animal method, this is now the human way of extracting the juice. Now folks, the harder you guys work, the bigger your share will be. <laughs> so you get cracking. And if you use the pole to hit Levon in the head, you get a bottle of rum each. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Good job. Good job. You're going great. Good job. Keep going. Keep going. At least you're doing better than the donkey. <laughs> <laughs> Put you back in it, just a little more. <laughs> wow, you're great. Wow. Yeah. 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 So they make the juice, we drink the juice, and they want to get to the dump. Somebody else. <laughs> Don't 
Somebody else, jump on oh, the Next for dressing, next for dressing. <laughs> All right, where the other volunteers are? Move forward, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. There was another person as well. Everybody get a sample? Here. Now folks, it's very rich in iron and vitamin B6, B12. So this product is very good for ladies, better for men. Because the B6 and B12. And the iron is good for ladies sometimes. But ladies can enjoy it twice as much as men. But only, everybody get a spoon? I think I need me one too. Thank you so much. Nice. I love this job and I get to do everything with the guests. <laughs> How better can the job get? Drink with the guests. Love. <laughs> now folks, so rich. You can't come and don't sample this thing. Ten different canes, crushes, boiled juice to make this molasses. So it's good for ladies, better for men. Ladies enjoy stuff. It makes nice barbecue sauce, nice jerk sauce, nice in your punches, nice to bake your cakes, mm -hmm. make your, you know, bar, all oh kind of God. things. So it's as browning mm -hmm. on the as chicken. As browning on the chicken, there you go. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't taste as how it looks, so don't worry about the looks, just eat the thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, eat, eat. Yeah, it's an eat. 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 Good, right, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It is so good, you cannot. Look. Now, folks, there's a spoon in there. I will dip from the pot and pour into your spoons. If you taste and don't like, we don't want it back. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, it's better when we have it. of what's in there so I will explain the distillation process here and then we go in there and take a quick look mm -hmm. now we have two different methods that distill the rums these are the old method these are called the copper pot stills now it takes five to six hours to make a batch of rum in these stills the seven percent alcohol which is the fermented molasses pumped into the first pot Heat would then apply to the pot as it heats the alcohol vaporized mm -hmm. through the swan neck to a low wine measures 30% alcohol. It enriches there, vapors high wine, 75% alcohol, enriches, and now the vapors converts to liquid. 86% rum comes out. Crystal clear. So the rum comes off colorless. At 86% alcohol. Wow. That is 172 mm. proof rum. Mm. Wow. 172 wow. proof. That could roast your liver well done. <laughs> I don't mean roasted rare well done. It is illegal to get access to this extra strength. You can only get access if you know somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody who I don't know. <laughs> you know you. But I don't know the person. <laughs> I don't know the person. Yeah, but it's illegal. Now the copper gives off a nice orange peel top note to the rum. So when you're nosing the Appleton rums and you smell this rich orange peel flavor, it is coming through these copper stills. These are like the hallmark. There are five of these in the distillery. And each still would make 1,500 liters of rums every five hours. So just imagine five stills produced 1,500 liters of 86% rum every five hours. And here we operate 25 hours a day, eight days a week. Wow. So how much rum we produce? That's a lot of rum. Yeah, 25 a. that's how we work, not 24, 25 a. Now, 
there's another method which is called column steel. The copper steels were using from back in the 17th centuries. The column steel developed 1820. It is a quicker way to process, but those rums, they are not as flavorful and they're not as full-bodied as what come through the coppers. Huge round stainless steel. First part of the column, the 7% goes, heat applied as it heats the alcohol vapors. The higher the alcohol vapor rise, stronger the rum comes out. And those comes off at 96% alcohol. 96, 192 proof. Mm. Now, in Jamaica, we call it JB. Mm. But in, sorry. <laughs> 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 but in the States, sorry, it's moonshine, mm -hmm. everywhere, mm. white lightning, mm. fire water, mm. but locally we say JB. Jankra business. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Am I right, folks? Yeah. <laughs> For those who don't know, it's not a nice word to use in public. Because the J stands for John Crow mm -hmm. in Jamaica. And John Crow in English is vultures. Mm -hmm. And B stands for Batty. Mm -hmm. And Batty in English is ass. <laughs> so it's vultures ass. That's what it's called. Vultures ass. Nobody would taste that to know if it tastes good or bad. <laughs> but they say the rum tastes like a vultures ass. That's what it's called. Vultures. <laughs> Crazy rum. 192 proof. That make you feel real good, <laughs> real quick. Yeah. But it could also kill you real quick. Mm -hmm. yeah. 192 proof from? Yeah. You know, when you're young, you think you could drink gasoline. That was my favorite rum <laughs> I used to enjoy the drinking it. My early years working here. Because I started in the distillery. And there weren't any cameras in the four corners like what it is now. <laughs> Everywhere there's a camera today, but in those days, mm -mm. only the supervisor. And when he makes his way through the door, then you know that this still belongs to us. As yeah. well. We had some. <laughs> we gotta make our way up in there. <clears throat> no pictures, no videos taken in the building. You can do all you like on the outside. But once we get upstairs in the building, we're not going to snap, we're going to take pictures, videos. Very hot in there, so it won't be very long. We're just going to take a quick look, then come back outside. Mm -hmm. Good? It's the same process, only that those are bigger and they're shiny. But it's the same thing as what is here. So we won't be there talking about it. And it's very, very hot in there. So. Good, so who? No, man, you can go. Because <laughs> we go there next, right? Yeah. All right. So who, you can go in there before I come back. Is that? But okay. who can make it and who wants to make it? It is very hard to come this far if you have never been there before yeah. and don't see where the Appleton rums produce. Anywhere in the world you get a drink, it must come from here. And it's been happening here 274 years ago. Never stops. So you make sure you get a look before you go back. So you can tell your friends I've been there. And the rest of it. you have to lose rum to age rum. Don't go back home and say, okay, I wouldn't buy a 30-year-old for 500 US when you could buy an eight-year-old for only 25 US. And then you put it down for the next 12 years, and then you have a 30-year-old rum. <laughs> that don't work. Once the rum leaves the barrels, aging stops. You have to lose it to age it. <coughs> and that is why it can only age in the barrels. So if you have any old rum home aging, 
I advise you drink it. <laughs> because most times we are saving these things for like those occasions, getting it older. Then the doctor tells you a few weeks from now, alcohol is off your diet. Yeah. You're not allowed to drink. That's why I don't save these good old days. <laughs> no, I drink I them. Put it so I swear, oh yeah, that's a good souvenir. Eh? Not in my books. Because you never know when you can do stuff. So I do it when I can. I drink mine when I get it. Now, after aging, the master blender and the tea will now combine the different age of pot still with column stills. So we blend these two ages, different ages together. Filter it, bottle it, and then we drink. So you notice, it is a long process. It is not an overnight drink. Good? All right, so we blend, filter, bottle, then drink. Are we ready for drinking? Yes! yes. Oh, there we go, I'm ready too. We're taking a quick peep on that side and then we go down there and pour up. Oh, how old are these? These are four twenty-two. Oh, the first, for the first, and the second one, and they only use it once. So they use it for three years, then we get them. So that's three plus that would be eight years. But it is not as good as the 21. 
So I'm averaging maybe about 18 to 20 years in the blend. Wow. But you could check it when you fill in your bottle. That's what I do. But it's a fine sipper. It's not a mixing rum, it's a sipping rum. Yeah. You can take it out when you get there. Only 60 US dollars. 